hey 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 Elias here I made this video because I've changed the structure and the syntax for the fire script if you didn't know about the script I suggest watching the tutorial I made for the first version you can find the link for that tutorial in the video description down below to keep this video short I'm going to tell you only what's changed or new in this update I've changed the files added a new one and placed all of them in the folder called our fire so if you want to configure your fire go to any fire SQF file and open it I did some changes in the fire script itself I also tweaked the particles so now is no longer required to specify the time of the day in order for the fire to look good therefore the time of the day is removed from the fire script syntax one of the reasons for which I've changed the script is because I wanted to add the ability to set on fire objects which are placed high above the ground, like helicopters, uh, higher floor of a building like in this example, uh, trees like here, or <laughs> having a fire like this. You can read here about use the parameters. As in previous version, we have the object we want to set on fire, uh, the lifetime of the fire, the radius, the amount of damage you want to be inflicted on players by the fire, a parameter which will tell the script to destroy the object when the lifetime of the fire is uh, at the end, and another parameter which will tell the script if the object in fire is a foot mobile or not, and the last and the new parameter which will tell if I want the small or big version of the fire. Only the small version can be used to set on fire objects high above the ground. In the case of the small fire, the radius parameter will not change the area covered by fire, but will define only the area in which players will get hurt if they get too close to the fire. If we want a fire over a larger area, we're just going to type as value big. In this case, the radius not only that will define the danger zone, so to say, but will influence the surface set on fire as well. Just a reminder, the so-called big fire won't work on flying objects, at least not on dedicated server. So again, if you want to set on fire objects above the ground, use small fire. If you want to set on fire larger areas, use the big fire. To run the script, like in previous version, copy the line and paste it in the init field of the object you want to set on fire. For more information, watch the first video, you can find the link here on the screen or in the video description down below. Also check out the demo mission and if you still need clarifications, ask me in the comments below and I'll answer as soon as possible. And this was it, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have comments, questions or suggestions, let me know. Thank you all for watching, happy editing and see you next time.